Something big, big, big news for you. Let's get on in here. Holy smokes. That was crazy. So uh, I'm at the Clark County, Indiana courthouse. And I just sat through uh, Jamie Knowles contempt of court hearing. And I'm going to wait on some of you to get here. So we're just going to chill in the car. I'm going to have a cigarette. Um, might call this a celebratory cigarette. Uh, <laughs> what's up, everybody? As you come in, say hi to me, please. Let me know you're here. Um, is the audio okay or are you getting like a vibration? Let me know. Because last time I used this uh, holder for... What's up, Blue? Is everything okay? Good audio? No no tick, 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 tick sound? That was the uh, the back of the phone holder last time that was doing that. It's so good to see you guys. Come on in, come on in. I got huge, huge news for you. Huge news. Let's keep it rocking. Let's keep getting people in here. Lots and lots of people are going to love what I got to share with you. Uh, so again, I am sitting in front of the Clark County Courthouse where I just witnessed the contempt of court hearing on uh, the former Sheriff Jamie Knoll and did all the damage to us. Uh, I just got to sit there and listen to how awesome of a job the state police have been doing on ensuring that Mr. Knoll's rights were all honored and that uh, I got to hear about how during his raids, you know, nobody got beat up and how during his raids, uh, there were people that were polite and how during his raids, um, he was shown the warrants before they entered and during his raids, nobody pulled guns out and during his raids, uh, everybody did everything they were supposed to do. Now that's not what happened in mine and Tiffany's raid. <clears throat> that's not how it went for us. So, uh, Put a one in chat if y'all remember who Bradley Kramer was. And I'm going to enjoy this celebration cigarette while you guys let me know. If you remember who Bradley Kramer was in my case, in my and Tiffany's case, which I'm not going to say too awful much because we're in litigation. Uh, because our, our raids, <laughs> when they did a search warrant on our house, they didn't do the favors that they did for Jamie Knoll, the former sheriff. But do uh, you guys want to know what happened in the end, or you want me to build it up? Y'all tell me how you... It was. I've been here for, like, uh, shit, I think I got here at about 1.30, and it's 5 o'clock now. So several hours this has gone on. I do plan on publishing this entire hearing. Uh, I didn't record all of it, but it, it was recorded, uh, and there is going to be a copy for me. Um, so 225 people in here this quick. That's awesome, guys. Uh, I wish you could actually have been in the courtroom with me, especially at the end where Jamie Noll had been arrested. And is, if you put a one in chat, if you watch this bond hearing on my channel, because I published it, I want to see how many of you saw the bond hearing. And please do vote or please do let me know. If you saw the bond hearing, if you didn't, you're missing out. Uh, it's on the channel still. So you'll have to later go hearing the judge straight up looked at Jamie, uh, Jamie, Knoll, the former sheriff. And he said, do not deceive me. Do not try to play games with me. He said, if you do, you will be very unhappy with the consequences. Well, apparently the judge made good on that because Jamie did try to deceive him. He had guns that he was not supposed to have hidden in his house. That's what this contempt of court hearing was about, was the guns that he had still hidden in his house. Well, Bradley Kramer was the one that Jamie called and said, hey, uh, you gotta get the guns out of my house because it's part of my bond. I'm not allowed to have it. I'll be in contempt of court. Well, Bradley Kent Kramer is a buddy and owes a lot of favors to old Jamie. So we're not blaming Bradley Kramer for this, but somehow a couple of M and P Smith and Wessons were left, uh, in the same place that the shotgun that 
the judge had allowed Jamie to keep, the judge allowed Jamie to keep one shotgun for self-defense. And it was in a room in the basement. Now we're not talking about like a private, I mean, it's private because it's in its basement, but we're not talking about a room that like, you know, has a, a door and it's unfinished or anything. It's just an open area in his basement. There was a room on one side and the theater room on another side and then the big open area. And uh, in that area, there was a table with some clutter on it um, and, and in a chair in a bright white box that you can't miss, there were two handguns. And then right next to it, within a foot or so, a couple feet, there was the one rifle, the one shotgun that the judge said it would be okay uh, for Noel to keep for self-defense. So if you are thinking about this, you, if you're a person who knows that they need one gun for self-defense, that gun's going to be where you expect it to be, right? Put a one in chat. If that gun's going to be right where you expect it to be, you're going to know where that gun's at and what's around it. Am I right? Two, if you think, well, it might just be hidden in the house somewhere. It's the only gun I got left out of, you know, 50, 60, 70 or more. Uh, you, you think you're not going to know about where that gun's at, put a two in the chat. But if you think you are going to know, well, be well aware of the surroundings and that gun, keep rolling with the ones. Because I'm a one on this. I think that if the judge allowed allowed me to keep one gun, one shotgun for self-defense, I'm going to be very much acute and aware to where that firearm is. I'll probably have it loaded and on the ready, and I would probably keep it in a place where I would fully expect to be able to, boom, get to it if I need to in the event of an emergency. Well, three feet away were these two handguns. Three feet away were these two handguns. The judge specifically said no other guns. So, yeah. Uh, do you all want to guess if Jamie got contempt of court? Put a one in chat if you think that he did get contempt of court. Two in chat if you think that he did not get contempt of court today. We're talking about a government actor here who's been pulling the strings in this area for years. Two terms as sheriff. Okay, don't forget that. So there's a two. You know, it's a dirty system, right? Like, sometimes shit goes wrong. Sometimes people cover for each other. There's some twos. Yeah. And, and don't forget, put a one in chat if you think that he did get hit with contempt today. I hope my thumbnail doesn't give it away for you. Not only did he actually get contempt but the judge ironically gave him 60 days in. Now you're talking about the 60 days in author, the television show. He's the author of the TV series, 60 days in that happened right here at this courthouse. Let me flip the camera around and show you the jail. That show originated, where are we at? Right there in that courthouse, right in front of me there. That's the jail you're looking at right there where 60 days in the TV show originated that's right there and um let me try to get this back in there without making it rattle okay let me know if it rattles you all now so the judge gave the former sheriff jamie Knoll 60 days in jail in in jail just now it just now happened and it was wild the way he that judge was not playing around now uh, uh, maybe a month or two ago, um, the judges in this case, his wife was arrested on a DWI allegedly unrelated to this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but all the actors were, well, wait a minute. No, not all the actors were here. That was actually part of what was strange. Bradley Kramer testified and he had like a deliberation or something going on in a private room before the trial. I don't know what that was about. I wish that we had access to the video of what was said in that room. And, um, oh, you can't wait to see this one. I thought you were saying you couldn't see the, the video all right now. Uh, no, I cannot wait for you to see this one. It's long. Uh, I might break it into two parts. I might just publish the whole thing. I don't know. I think in my membership, I'll probably just run the, the whole hearing um, 
from beginning to end and then on my main channel i'll probably uh do it in in more of a fashion in which i break down the actors and understanding and kind of you know drive people through knowing who's who and what's what um but yeah so either way uh so if you have a membership you'll get to see just the whole trial uh right on through it's not a big deal um yeah i'm sure that trolls are probably pretty upset at the fact that this channel actually did uncover a huge crime syndicate ring uh government controlled and and we weren't alone we didn't do it by ourselves it wasn't just me and tiffany um we worked in tandem in collaboration with lots of other people really really great people with the same goal in mind which was to expose what we knew was happening uh corruption um but you know there's a lot of these actors like like i mean bradley kramer he's been part of the problem you know he got fired as a cop but uh well they said he resigned he got fired along with others donovan Herod got fired finally uh from policing just maybe two weeks ago uh do y'all remember the uh chief willie put a one in chat if y'all remember who chief willie is for my channel remember chief willie can't keep cigarettes lit do you guys remember chief willie from utica the one that hired donovan after donovan got fired from here which they called it a resignation some of you do well chief willie got fired uh like two weeks ago along with donovan uh kramer been fired quite a while back but he testified today on behalf of jamie i guess i, I couldn't really tell uh but he, he's the one that signed the warrant the dirty warrant for my raid for mine and tiffany's raid and tiffany had a doctor's appointment today so she couldn't stay for the trial she's going to be just as excited as everybody else to see this like you guys are so you're actually getting the news from me before i even gave it to tiff because uh she was busy when i called but um so omc probably be in here in a minute and she'll be just as happy to get the news as you um so some of the actors were here we had uh the uh hang on a second <clears throat> we had the uh I call her the dirty attorney. The attorney on, on that side, we had we had Heather Peters Archibald. Uh, there's gonna be a lot on the channel coming up about her. Uh, we had, and she's the uh, lawyer for, uh, I'm gonna save it. She's she's the lawyer for a lot of stuff in the past uh, and you know, moving into the present. She's a, she's a major player. Y'all remember Melinda? Melinda that was like, uh, uh, I'm Melinda. <laughs> she was here. Uh, and she actually laughed about her short and she was like, you know, that was pretty funny. You know, and I said, well, I hope you're doing all right. Uh, so Melinda that got the DWI shortly after getting cocky on my channel, uh, she was here. Uh, of course, Misty Knoll was here. Um, there was Bradley Kramer obviously was here. There were a lot of people in the bee's nest, like that are the bee's nest that were here today uh, in support of the sheriff, but there were a lot of people missing People that have been claiming to uh, separate themselves from Jamie Knoll's problems, like Matt Owen, who was the former Jeffersonville in Clark County, the, the heart of Clark County's uh, city council president, and also Jamie's partner in the EMS services stuff, so New Chapel, which Matt's still running that. And I mean, if you think for one minute that these people didn't, if you're the business partner of the guy and and you're also running the city council in the heart of the city of the county where your business partner who's also the sheriff doing all this dirty stuff you know you don't just know you benefit from it so matt owen is playing this game but he's not you know he's trying to set so he wasn't there today but he's been there for all the rest of the stuff uh so he wasn't there today so he's making good publicly on his on his promise to separate from Jamie Dole, at least. Um, and we'll leave it at that. You know, I think that more charges should have came already and they may later. I mean, there's so much more in, in the mix. Uh, this investigation is nowhere near concluded yet. This was just simply a contempt of court and Jamie just went back to jail. 
for 60 days. That's where he's at. He got handcuffed in the courtroom and hauled off. And I'm talking about a pissed off judge. That judge, man, he made it exciting. He slammed the gavel down, bam, so hard. The whole, <laughs> you gotta watch the video. Uh, and I'm gonna publish it like real quick. So it'll be up on the channel, uh, probably just ASAP. Like I'm gonna go home. Uh, I got to go to work still this evening, so I'll go home, I'll download it, I'll get it uploaded to YouTube, and then I'm going to go to work. Uh, I don't have to be there until 9 tonight, so um, I should have plenty of time to get that uploaded. Um, obviously, it's going to be all over mainstream, um, but it'll probably be more fun to watch it on my channel because, as you all know, you know we were part of uncovering this stuff, so we know a lot more about the behind the scenes shit that's going on uh then most you know the okay a lot of the mainstream investigators they're really good like some of them really are here in this area uh i get along with them well i've actually spoken with them in, in many circumstances of you know while we're investigating the same stuff um uh, and it's different ones lots of different ones and they're good journalists and they're good investigators not every one of them but some of them are and in that um, they have a lot more strict rules to publishing than we do here on YouTube. So they may know things, but they're not allowed to publish the things that they know yet. Uh, they have different standards. So in that you're going to get more information from someone who's uh, doing something, I mean, cause my platform is not, I'm not held to those standards. Okay. I'm held to some standards and legal standards, but it's nothing like the strict rules that mainstream has to apply by. Um, he did slam that gavel. I mean, he slammed that fucking gavel. Wham! <laughs> it freaked everybody out in the courtroom. He said, the uh, judge was like, uh, I told you not to try to deceive me and wham, slam that gavel down. Uh, I mean, guys, there was some heart in that. And then uh, we're, we're clapping whenever they, they sentenced him six days. The judge is like, no, stop, stop doing that too. You all get in trouble. I, I couldn't, I had to laugh when he said 60 days in. <laughs> the judge even made a, a little quirk about it. He said something like, well, how about 60 days in? That seems appropriate. Uh, so for all of you watching right now, Jamie Knoll just got locked back up into jail. He'll probably be going to serve it at somewhere like Scott County or something like that at an agency, uh, that's not part of this whole, um, group. Right. So, uh, and that would be a really good place for him under, um, under Scott County because, you know, the sheriff there, Jerry Gooden, he's, he has nothing to do with none of this shit. Um, you know, he's, he runs a clean ship. So, um, that's probably, if I had to guess, that's probably where Jamie's going to serve out his time. So, but that's just a contempt. That's, it's just contempt. Now, remember he was out on a, I think it was a 70, was, am I right guys? $75,000 bond. Is that right? I can't quite remember. I think it was a 70, I think the, the prosecution originally was asking for a $25,000 bond and Jamie received a $75,000 bond. I'm pretty sure. So he was already out on a $75,000 bond. The, the stipulations were many, but one of them was, is that the judge allowed him to keep one shotgun. Uh, so he was allowed to keep a shotgun and that's rare, right? Like most people don't, um, get to keep a shotgun during that time, whenever they're determined not to be able to have guns. So, I think the judge was being pretty lenient there by letting him keep the shotgun, but he didn't allow him to keep any other guns. So, uh, you know, the defense tried to make it sound like, oh, we didn't know. He didn't know the guns were there. Uh, they tried to blame it on Bradley Kramer and Charlie Moon, who was uh, Jamie's really close buddies and, and owes them favors, but tried to blame it on them, it, which is another thing to notice, guys. These people who who do this kind of stuff who commit crimes and shit, they are the first ones to throw their own under the bus, right? Because they're unaccountable. So 
they're really, really quick. These types of people are super quick to when they're all the way caught in the corner. Like Kaiser will do this. JJ's going to do this. All these, all these assholes that commit crimes, they're going to do this. Immediately when they're all the way in the corner, they're going to start pointing fingers at the people right next to them. That's what they do. And that's pretty much what the defense did here. They tried to blame Charlie Moon and, and Bradley Kramer, who was doing a huge favor by going to Jamie's house after that last hearing and collecting the guns for them and getting them out of there. That was a risk on them, right? Like, because they're taking, they didn't have to do that. You know, they didn't have to do that. They weren't even law enforcement. They were just doing it as a favor for a friend. So then here in court, you know, they're blaming them. <laughs> So, what's up, OMC? Uh, guys, do you all want to tell her? Do you want to tell OMC? Hey, Tiff. Got him. <laughs> 60 days in jail. He's serving 60 days in jail, Tiff. So, there you go. <laughs> I tried to call you, babe. Um, yeah. So, that's it for now. Uh, I want to hurry up and try to get home before I got a window before work uh, where I can probably download the hearing for you. So I'd like to get that published. Uh, by the way, YouTube is giving, I'll explain real quick. So as you all know, I am doing, I've got to be careful how I say this because I don't want this video to get hit too. Um, as you all know, there are certain groups, uh, like, um, I don't know if I can even say KK and then another one. And, and also this percenters, uh, which is pretty close to the same thing. It's a group that, um, these are groups that you're not allowed to talk about on YouTube videos without having your, uh, your monetization struck down. So, and, and it's not just about making money on the video. Although obviously I need to make money on these videos. I spend a lot of time and money doing them, but obviously the, the issue is this in that, um, if they don't make it green, if they don't monetize it, it gets no push from YouTube, none. So odds are people aren't going to see it. You know, and you might not even get notifications for the videos that don't have it. So I've got a really important video that I've been trying desperately to get green. And I promise you all, I have not, there's nothing in the video that's a violation of YouTube standards at all. But just the fact that there are these particular uh, people who are involved in these particular things, YouTube is keeping me from publishing it. So, yeah, I don't like that. I think what's going to end up happening, if I can't get it to clear uh, by Thursday, then, you know, hopefully I can depend on all of you to share it and hopefully maybe some people that can afford super stickers and, and super chats on it, maybe we can go that route. I hate to publish it until it turns green, uh, and I really need a lot of eyes and ears on it because it is about what we are going through right now and it it applies to these current charges that i'm facing these felonies that i'm facing in mead county and i'll put it in a nutshell for you guys we have officially learned that that there have been a couple of people involved with scarborough who falsified a took our cease and desist and made their own so it might as well not even been our cease and desist at all copied or anything they made their own saying it was me and Tiffany that made it and they put a death threat to a child in it and mailed it to themselves and then reported it as it was me doing it and then charged me for it. That's why I went to jail, y'all, was because someone else wrote themselves a death threat to their kid and then lied and said I did it. That's what's going on. And I need to publish this stuff. I can show you guys. I can prove it uh, easily which is crazy because that's how lax the courts really are when it comes to a government official uh, presenting a case. Like, it is ridiculous, the man. Ridiculous. And he's pretending that he's not even on YouTube. Like, it has nothing to do with Kaiser's channel, never talked about me on YouTube. Uh, so I've got that. It's, it's a perjury. It's a whole video of court 
uh, JJ committing perjury. I mean, bad. Not just a little bit. Like his entire testimony, perjury, perjury, perjury. In an effort to, to try to frame me on purpose, it is bad. Um, I've got. I'm gonna try to make an appointment with my attorney tomorrow uh, because we got that video yesterday, and then today I had this. So I need to get over there. Um, Bill M's just joining the room. Bill M, and to anyone else who wasn't here that already heard it, Jamie Knoll, the author for the TV show 60 Days In, the sheriff that was responsible for, for a SWAT team kicking in my door a few years ago and, and breaking Tiffany's back and beating the crap out of me and stealing property, the same sheriff that, that created the TV show 60 Days In at this right here uh jailhouse i'm gonna turn around so you can see it at that jailhouse right there he is in jail for 60 days for contempt of court um after failing to listen to the judge's orders in his previous hearing uh which he was out on seventy five thousand dollar bond so that's where we're at y'all um if you guys could, if I don't get that video to turn green by Thursday, could y'all please help me boost it and, and make sure everybody sees it? Uh, put a one in chat if you can do that and support us a little bit. And maybe if you can afford like a little super chat, a couple dollars here or there, you know, that would be nice just on that particular video. Um, and you don't have to. If you don't have the money, I don't want you to do that. But if you do, it would be helpful to try to get some monetization on that video. Uh, and then definitely share, 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 share. Like that's that's going to be huge, especially since there will be no boost from YouTube. And I don't know why they're giving me so much flack. I've tried to download it 10 ways till Sunday. I guess just because it has that group in it and that those aspects are covered in it. And we are talking about that Greg guy that's running around calling himself a victim who tried to press more charges on me, bullshit charges. The dude that's been harassing and stalking me and Tiffany, he goes and tries to act like a damn victim, a little crybaby bitch. Uh, but he is in an, a, an affiliation that I can't say on YouTube, and that's ridiculous that I can't say on YouTube. But it's this number and then the word percenters. Um, that's what it is. So uh, you need to look that up. You need to look that up. Guys, in my memberships, I will also do a short... Uh, now that I have the computer, I'll do maybe tomorrow night or something. I'll do a, a short video and we will research that group. And I don't think it'll be monetized, but that'll be okay in my memberships. So that's why I'll do it there. It's not to leave nobody out. It's just to let y'all, you know, I, I'm letting y'all know that YouTube's not letting me talk about that aspect. So we're going to do it this once with the video that I've been busting my ass trying to get in front of you. Uh, we'll, we'll, it's definitely going to all be outed right there. And then I won't talk about that aspect of it anymore on my channel just because YouTube's not going to let me publish it. Uh, so guys, uh, keep an eye out for your notifications. You got a crazy ass court hearing coming up here on Jamie Knoll and I'm talking wild shit. Judges screaming and banging gabbles and throwing, you know, uh, these, this, this sheriff in jail. Uh, and then of course my hearing that happened in Meade County the other day. That's coming to you too. And then before that even, you're going to have the video that I've been trying to get to you guys since Saturday of, of last week. So a lot of good stuff here. A lot of crazy stuff. Not good. It's all crazy. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to call it good. Some of the stuff we're going through is scary um, and ridiculous. But it's it's all coming to you. So I love you guys. I'm going to get home and get this thing downloaded, and I'll see you on the next one.